We are on fire watch. Three fires burning in Utah County. Yeah, the newest one started this evening just southwest of Santa Quinn. We have team coverage tonight. Brett Benson following the air quality and fire conditions. But we start with Tanya Dean in Santa Quinn, where it was a very close call for a neighborhood. Tanya, they were on high alert for a possible evacuation. Yeah, Ashley, the Goshen fire burned within a couple of miles of this Santa Quinn neighborhood. We just got an update. It is now 90% contained, so that's good. Now, at one point, state fire officials said that homes were being evacuated. That turned out to be a false alarm, but some residents were ready just in case. Look at that one coming in. That one's going to be cool. When a wildfire comes this close to your neighborhood... We were watching the big ones drop on that one over there. Well, you can go up see where that van's coming. You can go up there, too. Sometimes you have to stake out a good spot and just watch. When my wife first saw it, she was really like, I don't know if we should be looking at the fire or if we should be getting our stuff packed. You can see why residents were worried. A huge plume of black smoke could be seen for miles around with a great view from I-15. At one point, this neighborhood was afraid they'd have to evacuate. I was pretty nervous because I've already been through that and I know what it's like. I know how scary it is to have to evacuate and get out of there as fast as you can and take take a limited amount of things with you. So it's it's pretty, pretty scary. The fire grew to more than 100 acres in a short amount of time. Tweets went out saying the Summit Ridge neighborhood was being evacuated, but that turned out to be false. Well, a lot of times smoke plumes tend to cause people a lot more fear than maybe is necessary, especially where it looks so close to you. So it was just, I think, out of caution that some people were concerned and thought they were evacuating and some miscommunication with dispatch. Fire crews were able to get to the Goshen fire quickly because they were fighting another fire just a few miles away. For that, residents are extremely grateful. You know, they've had their work cut out, especially this summer, and they've done a great job. So, I mean, we were, we were nervous, but we weren't, we weren't worried about anything burning down. Now, there were a couple helicopters, a plane, a hotshot crew, and multiple engines here on scene within just an hour or so. Now, the fire is now about 150 acres, again, 90% contained. Fire crews will continue to monitor it throughout the night and put out any hot spots. Dan, back All to right. you. Great to hear that they're getting a handle on this one. Thanks a lot, Tanya Dean, live for us tonight in Santa Quinn.